हाँ स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट एम्ब्रेड सिस्टम्स वॉज सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर एम्ब्रेड सिस्टम्स सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर एम्ब्रेड सिस्टम्स सो वी नो दैट वट एवर द एम्ब्रेड सिस्टम दैट वी हैव टेकन दैट एम्ब्रेड सिस्टम इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ हार्डवेयर एज वेल एज द सॉफ्टवेयर so the system if the system wants to run it requires the hardware parts and the to work the hardware parts we need to install some hard software a software it's a piece of code okay so now let's see what are the softwares that are used for the embedded system so what is the software okay let me explain the embedded software embedded software so the embedded software is a, it's nothing but it is a program that contains an um, uh, let me write the point it is a program a software is a program we all know that it is a program that controls that controls the embedded system so embedded system is any of the system okay so whether you have taken the microcontroller mobile phone or automobiles so whatever the concept you have taken whatever the embedded system is that you have taken that system will be controlled by a program that program you call it as a software so this program is nothing but it is a piece of code it is a piece of code written to perform a task that code is written to perform a task to perform a task means it is going to perform some action okay so it's uh, based on the time settings and based on the intervals and everything uh, so it's just a software program it is a piece of code written to perform a task so written spe uh, specifically for the particular hardware that is runs on so whatever the hardware we have taken if you want to work uh, if you want to run that hardware we need software a software is a program which controls this hardware so a program is a piece of code written to perform a particular task so the embedded software loaded in microcontroller okay so whatever the embedded software that we have taken that embedded software loaded in microcontroller which then take care of all operations that are running okay now let's see the tools that are needed to develop this embedded software the tools need for developing the embedded software so we said that the embedded software is nothing but a program which controls the uh, uh, complete embedded system so what are if you want to design the embedded software what you require you require the tools so what are the tools needed for developing the embedded software the tools required to develop the embedded software includes editor to write the programs compiler to compile the programs and assembler to convert the high level language program into assembly level language and the debugger to execute the programs so these are the different tools needed for developing the embedded software now let's see what are the different embedded softwares let me explain you the examples embedded software examples my main aim of uh, this video is to explain what exactly the embedded software is the embedded software is a program which controls an embedded system so the tools needed for developing embedded software is editor compiler assembler and the different examples for uh, of embedded software so uh, it's nothing but uh, you can take the this embedded software will hidden in watches means it's a piece of program which is going to control the watch if the watch wants to run so what you need you need to uh, include some piece of code 
okay piece of program that you have to be stored in the chip so that the points will be rotate okay okay uh, it hidden in watches and it also works on vcrs and even cellular phones so the cellular phones is also consisting of some embedded softwares and toasters whatever the toasters you are using those toasters is also having the embedded system which is uh, a chip is designed with hardware as well as a software and uh, it guides the missiles it guides the missiles and it controls the satellites also controls satellites so this software embedded software is uh, designed to control the satellites and used in medical instructions use it in medical instruction instruments okay so these are all the different uh, embedded software examples okay now let me explain you the software complexity so i'd explain what are the tools that you use to develop embedded software and the examples of embedded software now how you can decide the software complexity how can you measure the complexity of a software so if you're designing the software you have to think about uh, different uh, terms that you have to be considered while you're designing the software the embedded software can be very simple run on an 8 bit microcontroller with just a few kilobytes of memory so the software complexity this here that embedded system it's a very simple which runs on 8 bit microcontroller with just a few kilobytes of memory so it's just required only the few kilobytes of memory you no need to say uh, use a lot of memory here so just few kilobytes of memory is sufficient so example just like controlling lighting in the home so uh, by using the sensors or by using the remote or by using the chip you're just controlling all the lights in your home okay there a sensor is there so that system is designed by using the embedded system so for that uh, hardware you need software that is the embedded software you require so that software is requires only a few kilobytes of memory so that few kilobytes of memory is going to uh, con store all the information regarding the lights and uh, the co if you take the complex embedded systems complex embedded softwares so in which areas we will use the complex embedded softwares so in air aircrafts if you want to design the embedded systems in in aircrafts like uh, avionic systems in that systems you need uh, embedded software but it is somewhat complex when compared to the normal uh, embedded systems and in uh, missile guidance systems missile guidance systems and as well as uh, navigation systems so if you consider all these examples in these examples we require the complex embedded softwares so it's completely depends on varying requirements and hardware platform so the main the software complexity can be varying it depends on varying the requirements of hardware platform now let me show, uh, explain you the requirements of software for embedded system. So what are the requirements? Requirements of software for embedded systems. So what are the requirements? The first requirement you need uh, to develop a software for embedded system is you have to check about the reliability so whatever the software you are going to design so that should be reliability means it should be reliable because human intervention is not possible for error handling so in a general purpose systems the human intervention is there okay the human can interrupt the program the human can uh, add the memory he can add the resources whatever he want but in embedded system the human intuition is not possible for error handling so 
uh, those systems whatever you are designing so for that systems a software has to be expect to run without human intervention to long period so that explains the reliability it should be reliable so whatever the software that you are designing that should be reliable because human intervention means the human involvement is not possible for error handling okay so they are expect to run without human intervention to long period so the next next requirement of software for embedded system is cost the cost should be uh, effective okay the cost should be effective while you are designing the software and next is a, you have to think about the power consumption okay so you have to uh, maintain the embedded system to acquire the property like low power consumption low power consumption next is the memory next requirement is memory so i already explained that memory you need only a few kilobytes of memory sufficient for your microcontroller uh, to store this software so they should make efficiency use of memory because uh, memory cannot be unbounded so while you are designing the software you have to be make sure that you are using the efficiency efficient of memory okay so how much you are required that you are using or not you have to be take care while you are designing because there is no chance for unbounded because the memory cannot be unbounded in microcontroller and the next one is performance the performance of your system the performance requirement is a most important requirement is that the timeline is okay so you have to think about the timeline so these are the different requirements of software for embedded systems so the embedded systems usually written in non volatile memory means uh, they are stored in the rom or eprom which cannot easily modified so they are the permanent so they are inbuilt in the uh, they are designed while they are designing the chip okay they cannot be easily modified so this is about the softwares of embedded system so whenever you asked about what are the software for embedded system first you try to explain what is an embedded software and what are the tools that are used to develop the embedded software different examples of embedded softwares and finally uh, the software complexity how can you vary the software complexity and the requirements of software for embedded systems thank you